What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the start of something new. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be introducing a series of live gameplay breakdowns on my channel. How this is going to work is I'm going to have viewers send me in a VOD of their gameplay and at the end of my stream, I'm going to choose one and break it down. This is going to include me providing my personal opinion on gunfights, rotations, positioning, pointing out what they did correctly and providing tips on what they can do to improve. I'll be breaking down players of all skill levels. The only thing I'm looking for is good quality videos and no hate speech or anything too inappropriate during their gameplay. This was my first attempt at breaking down someone's gameplay live on stream and I think it turned out pretty well. This is a great way for me to give back to my community and as we do more and more of these, we'll get better and better. If you want a chance at having your gameplay reviewed by me, it's as simple as just being a part of our Twitch community. We have an amazing group of people over there that all share the same passion for gaming, so feel free to pop in and say hello. The link to my Twitch stream will be in the description below along with my socials. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. That's going to be all for me. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, so you're playing duos. Alright. Quality? Quality coming go up? Alright. We got another fuzzy, fuzzy one. B? You streaming in 540. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. We were happy. We were we were dealing with the quality of the other video. You're solo at this point. Oh, you're playing solos. All right. Solo doers. <laughs> all right. So you hear someone. Where do you hear that person? I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Can't really hear it. Oh, that was risky, B. That was risky. All right, so that's nine minutes. Let's take it back a, a few seconds. Oh, you hear this person coming. You do the right thing and go grab the armor first. But what you need to do here is you went and challenged. You need to sit on this corner right where my mouse is right now. And you need to ADS that spot. So you took way too much health because you were the one to pick the corner instead of him. So you you, you picked the corner first. Oh, that was tough. That's all right. You got the kill. Backing away, that's good. You didn't go for the first, that's good. All right, so you're healing up, you're listening, you're trying to work out where they are. You can hear someone coming. You ADS the corner that time. That was good. Oh, you hear him coming? Oh. You could have done the same thing there as well, where you ADS the corner and let him walk into you rather than you walk into him. Right idea there. So you can go you can go down and peek that because you know he was on the res. So you could have possibly walked down there with the thermite and thrown it literally on him. Alright, now you're in a risky one. Oh, you got the kill? Whoop. There you go, you got the ADS, let him walk into you. Why did you remove drink water option? <laughs> 540B, sad face. That's okay. That's okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Shit on. Shit on? <laughs> I want to loot, but I know I'm going to get fucked when I do. You were lucky they were bots? <laughs> that's all right. All right, so you're looting? You can hear more people. Grab that peacekeeper. Don't you... B, go back and get that peacekeeper. Oh, you walked away from it. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're challenging too. Oh, no. What is happening? We're wall climbing. Oh, my God. You're going to give me a heart attack. Fuck. All right, all right. Let's get back in. Oh, my God. 
Let's go back and suss this one. All right, you hear people coming. You're like, where are they coming from? You, you smoke above and you run down. So you must have thought they were coming from above because you smoked upwards and slid down the stairs. And then you slid down and you went, oh shit. All right, there's two in front of me now. And you just committed to the fight. Got a bit lucky here. Wow. So what you could have done differently to not risk that happening is Fuck. waited that extra few oh seconds God, to work happened? out where they were coming from. So you could have been like, you know, instead of smoking straight away and just running because you thought they were above you, you can take your time a little bit and be like, all right, I'm not sure where they are yet, but I'm going to take a few Fuck seconds that. to gather, to gather myself. Or is it just fucking getting lucky with them? <laughs> so you just take the extra little bit of time and just... Um, Look up, look down, see where they're coming from, listen again, and, you know, extra few seconds and you'll work out where they are. And then just pre-aim, whichever way they're coming from. Jesus. Oh, B clipped it. Let's go, B, with the clip. Put that on YouTube. B's like, oh, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> OG told you to? Alright, let's go. Look at you, the way you're walking here. So it looks like you have... So this is the way, like, aimbotters walk on PC, right? They, like, they like don't center themselves. They, like, look at the walls and shit. Like, you're just, like, running and looking at the ground. It's a bad habit to get into. So a really good habit when playing FPS games is to always center your cursor around the most... About the danger... Like, the most dangerous spot. One hand on the controller play. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But like, so this this is applies to everything though. This is a good. This is a really good tip for for people just in general. The center of your cursor, so the center of your screen, should always be pointing towards the spot that is that you you're most vulnerable to be shot from. Right. So if there's a corner nearby, when you're walking just anywhere, your cursor should be pretty much on that corner the entire time you're running. Unless you're looking around or, you know, you've got quick movement, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, like where people are. might be, exactly. She's trying to work out where they were, so they, you're trying to work out if they're below or not. So we heard them fighting in the tunnel before. So there's definitely some people below you. Whether they've come out by now is, uh, I'm not sure. She's sneaking. She's sneaking. She's got the, the crouch on. Or oh, they're coming out. What's she going to do? She's ADSing here. Oh, she gives her position away. Alright, eh? uh, let's see what she does here. So you need to be really careful when going in like this because it's a single single staircase. Alright, uh, she's fine there. So you just need to arc star behind the car. She's she's arc star too far backwards. Yeah, that's a that's a sticky situation. I right, need to be super careful here. So what you can do right now is if you if you ever get in a fight here, if you ever get in a fight here and it's too sticky here, you literally just go to the other entrance. You just jump over and go to the other entrance and use your longer range gun. So just sit over there, yeah. You just heard them third partying, so this was now now the time to go get them. So once that knock was, it was about 15 seconds ago now, there was a knock. You wanted to get in there. So there's a knock from both sides. So you know that... If you push forward here, this guy has a potential to shoot you from the right. Um, you can't, so you got to be super careful there. Um, you can... Oh, it's, it's a tough one here, what you need to do. So you've pushed onwards, and you've fully exposed your back, but you got the kill there, and that guy didn't shoot you. So that's weird. He is in here, right? Oh, yeah, he is in here. Okay, so because this is sort of low level 
probably like you know not as skillful players in this lobby but by just the looks of the players so far you got away with that but but normally if there's a team if there's a doorway there and a team here whichever one you push if you push right is that's more safe than pushing straight ahead because if you push straight ahead past the door from from that spot once you go past the door you're vulnerable you're now vulnerable to being shot in the side and killed because you're all you're going to be fighting the guy in front of you who's going to deal damage to you and you're going to get shot from the right so a good player will destroy you in that situation like or just two average players you know who who, who know what to do do you know what i mean but you got a bit lucky there that they weren't very good um and you executed it in the end so you did well in the end <laughs> But there's definitely stuff to keep to be mindful of. Is by pushing beyond the door, you make yourself susceptible to side damage as well as front damage from the person you're pushing to. I'm acting like I have a little look. Alright, so someone slides down to you. Alright. Your first thought was to, to peek out there. That's it's not a bad one. I, I probably would have contested that as well, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm in pubs, I would have contested that in that spot. If I wasn't in pubs. Yeah, my mentality is a bit different because in pubs, the people I play against on the regular, I'm generally a lot better than. Uh, and even the sweats in our lobbies, I'm, I'm still generally a lot a lot better than those players. So right now, you see a guy sliding at you. You turn around straight away and you climb the wall. You'll see it in a second if you go near it. So you fight each other. So you climb, so straight away, as you're walking here and you see him slide down, your first thing should be to climb that and then climb that. And now you're up on high ground shooting down. You also have the cover of that doorway, that doorway bit, so you can peek shot him downwards or force him away from you by taking that. So you climb that now, yep, which is good. You take the high ground. Good play, good play. If someone, oh, okay, that, I don't like what you just did then. If someone climbs on that bit there, you jump on the roof bit above you and you shoot you shoot from higher down on him, right? And if he jumps onto the balcony, you instant kill him because he's he's stuck now in the open. So you jump. So if anyone ever climbs on that thing, you go roof and you go other side of roof and you shoot down at him. By going inside right now, you've given him the same equal ground of you and you've given him a chance to walk in and shoot you. Oh, does he do it? He walks in. Oh, the purple armor swap? No, you didn't. <laughs> the fuck is happening, guys? You got him, though. That's good. That's good. You got the purple armor swap mid fight, so you did that well. Got very fortunate that the purple was there. Like, <laughs> actual. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, I should have done it first. I did. Very lucky. Yeah, I'll try and I'll try and show you what I mean in this in this aspect. I'll go back a little bit. Where was it? We'll just watch this one again. So this is just an outright one of your one. But at the time, you don't know if if two are sliding down or if one is. You just it just all happens so quick, and you can never tell. So you see this guy now, right? After I see this guy right now, I don't know if it's a, I mean, I'm a, I'm a solo. I know I'm a solo. That's 100% a fact, right? I know this is duos mode, right? So I don't know if this is a, a one or a two. In in trios, I would never challenge this from where I am. I, I, would, I would take that height immediately. Um, in duos, I'm not sure. It, it depends on the situation, my guns, my health, um, how confident I was, if I was popping off this game, all that type of stuff. But right now, as soon as you've seen him, you need to go up. So we discussed this already. We're just going to replay the whole thing and go through it. So you straight away take height. Use that thing to peek down on him. Eventually you go up, which is good. You did the right play in the end. Um, and now you see him on the ground right now. Give up balcony. He climbs up here. So I wanted you to go up this side here. So, so I wanted you to go straight up here and onto the other side and look down at this balcony and the doorway as well as this edge. Because that'll force him back to low ground. So, but yes, yeah, so this was the one thing that I didn't like was when, once you went inside, you allowed him to climb balcony and challenge you from an equal ground and you gave up your high, high ground advantage. You win the fight, which was good in the end. So, so no harm, no foul. 
I get more and more nervous. Skip all this. Yeah, I don't want to go inside, but panic. Nah, that's fine. This is fine. This is all things you learn. Like you, you can't possibly know all the all this stuff straight off the bat. Do you know what I mean? Like everything is a learning curve. It, you have to learn all these things. So like everything I say, whether it's good or bad, it's not to be taken as good or bad. You just need to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't know that. That's sweet. Or I did know that. That's sweet. Like you just get free information. You're like, fuck yeah, let's go. Now, I want to see your rotation in. Okay, so where are you aiming to go? Right now, rock behind the rock is free. It's in zone. You could probably sit on that edge of rock right there. Alright, you're going for it. You're going uh, for the rock. Why did they come all the way over here? I'm just so not good with that bang out yet. Ah, oh, you've taken the rock? That's good. Ah, oh, so you're biding your time now. So right now you want to be listening for... So you know there's four teams. There's you and three other teams. You don't know how many people there are. Um, you want to be waiting for cracks. You want to be waiting for knocks. You want to be waiting for all that kind of stuff. Let's see, let's skip. Let's skip a little bit because it doesn't look like you're probably going to engage. But if you're going for the win, you don't do that at all. If this is if this is ALGS and there's a team in there, team in there, and I'm on the rock, I'm waiting on the rock. My rotation from, from the rock would be either the, the outside um, the outside crate right there on, on that ledge or uh, using the fence line here. Because everywhere else looks like it's out. So I want to see where you go. Do you go to the crate? Yeah. You taking the roof? Good, good, good. That's always risky. Because you don't know if a door is up there or not. But you did well, you did well. Uh, you can hear the last two teams fighting right now. It looks like someone just knocked someone in the kill feed. So someone's getting a res. So you need to slow it down here. You're panicking a little bit. Should have pushed that quicker. Looking around. Should have another squad. I think one is below you on the outside, and the other guy is on the inside. I'm assuming. It looks it looks like it might be a two v one. Two on the inside, and one on the outside. Two v one v one. Oh, big beams! Big beams. When do you drop here and push them? You, you can't, in a 2v1v1, you don't really want to kill the solo. Like, you want to keep the solo as as a buffer, right? You want them to fight the solo first. You want the solo to do some damage to the other team. And then you want to jump in. So if this was ALGS and I was a solo versus a two-man and a one-man, I would not want to contest the two-man straight off the bat. I, I, want, I want to contest them as late as possible because they're a two-man. They have each other's backs. Whereas the solos, once you kill the solo, he's dead. So it looks like B did well to fight that guy. And his teammate didn't punish. His teammate didn't come out and punish. So smoking up and going back to the roof would probably be the play. You're sort of on this edge though, which makes you susceptible to this person over here. Yeah, which you get shot at by. Okay. You gotta stop putting yourself on that left side. <laughs> oh, he comes to push. Or oh, quick armor swap there, maybe? No. Oh, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. It had to be a jibby. It had to be. And I had to get stuck in the fucking death box. Oh, let's have a look at the fight again. So it's pushing in and you see that guy. So in every 1v1v1 situation, right? You don't want to be the first person in the 1v1. In every 1v1 situation. Right? So what you could have done differently 
is you know the guy's underneath. Is he underneath? Yeah, he can't get out this way because the storm is there. So he has to come out the other side, right? Like the other guy did. So you've gone in, you fought this guy first. Oh, that's so unlucky. Yeah. I had to be a jabby. Yeah. I had to be a jabby. Yeah. So something you could have done is uh, late rotated. You could have smoked the scene. Or you could have dropped down on this side of the house and late rotated around the fence while, while, um, while the other jibby pushed him. So your main priority right now is you know where one guy is, but you don't know where, which side... No, fight the jibby first? No. You don't know which side the jibby is. You need to work out where the jibby is coming from. You need to work out if he's left side of the house or right side. So in that situation, you need to go, all right, Jibby's on left side. Jibby's going to push him to the fence, to the jump the fence and fight the guy. If he's on right side, he's going to push around and, and jump the fence and fight the guy. But you need to be the one to come in second. So you need to, if you work out which side he's coming from by using, you know, using your headset, obviously, using your ears to work it out, and uh, or just visually, just try and peek, have a look while you've got the minute of countdown while it's ticking the next circle. You can work out which way he's coming from and then you can work out your plan of attack. So if he's coming from left, you know that you go right side around the fence, they're going to contest and you're going to get a sweet third party and you're just going to win the game. So use your height advantage. So yeah, that, this is the big tip for this one, I guess, is to use your height advantage to work out where everybody is and then as, just assess yourself, like assess everything. Would love some nades. Yeah, nades would be good there. Stuck in a death box. You could have given yourself more time by walking around the fence to. And I had to get stuck in a fucking death box. Yeah, you could have given yourself more time by walking around that fence to. So, <laughs> low level players or just like average players are very easily confused. So, like, if you did want to take this fight like you did and you get him done. So you get him done and you want to reload your 99. You made the right play by doing this. You still have time to walk around this fence, right? You go to do it and then you stop. You walk around the fence and you reload your R99 while you're jumping over the fence. You don't have to take damage from the jibby while you're reloading. And you also don't get stuck in a death box. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you did really well that game to survive 1v2 a lot of people. And do all that stuff. How did I deserve that? The <laughs> the higher you go, so though. Fucking good. Oh, you got you got ten kills and twenty three hundred. Let's Look go. At that sh the higher the higher up you go in terms of like people you verse skill level wise, the more you're gonna notice like the mistakes you make. So if you're constantly versing lower level people, you'll get away with a lot of stuff and you'll make a lot of mistakes. And you'll get away with those mistakes because the people aren't punishing you. That's just how games work in general. So it's it's the same as like so that's why people smurf, right? It's because good players punish you for your mistakes. Whereas bad players don't take advantage of the mistakes you make. So that's why people make smurf accounts for every game ever. So at the end of the day, like you did really well for your game. You got 10 kills, you got 2300, you got second. That's that's amazing work. Like you did really well to 1v2 that and get yourself up there. Like that was great. You're improving so much. Keep it up. Let's, yeah, let's go. You got to take the positives from that. It's all about the positives. There's so many there's so many more things to to work on, but you did you did a lot of positives in that match as well. So that you don't have to worry about negatives or worry about losing the match. There's you know what you did. You learn more in losing. The more you lose, the more you learn. This is her first FPS game? Exactly. There you go.